During 1943 and 44, hundreds of workmen arrived unheralded at Southampton docks. They were the scene shifters recruited to prepare Southampton's stage for a spectacle of unprecedented magnitude. Mulberry Port was being produced. The general idea of the Mulberry Port scheme was to prefabricate a harbour. Vast pier heads, pierced by mooring columns, were to be linked to the land by floating moles and protected from the possibility of heavy seas by concrete breakwaters sunk at the required spot. By means of this artificial harbour, the indispensable doorway to Hitler's Europe was prepared for the passage of the invasion troops. These Cleopatra's needles, on which the pierheads rode up and down on the water surface, moored them to the seabed. And here is one of the floating moles for landing invasion troops and their supplies. And this, a finished pontoon, ready for action. As during the actual invasion, the weather was unusually stormy, the importance of the breakwaters mentioned before cannot be overemphasized. The sections were constructed at various places as well as Southampton, assembled at the docks, and towed across the channel with the rest of the Mulberry Port components. These views of the breakwater caissons during construction give some idea of the size of the job in hand. Southampton was undoubtedly the choice of location for the work. Two of her dry docks, one of them the famous King George V graving dock, the largest in the world, became miniature shipyards on their own account, with all hands contributing to the forging of this veritable key to the continent. As zero hour approached, so was the construction work intensified. Men were engaged night and day on this all-important task with surprisingly little interruption from enemy planes. In the dry docks, as soon as work on the caissons had progressed sufficiently, they were floated out and completed in wet berths nearby, while activity recommenced in the dry docks at once. Southampton, with her double tides and her seven miles of deep water keys, played a unique part in the Mulberry Port scheme, which resulted directly in the downfall of Germany and the bringing of peace to Europe.